Hello again, everybody. Today, I am on the southern side of the city in South Oceanside for my fifth and final video of my Oceanside series. What makes this part of Oceanside so different are the smaller and more secluded beaches as opposed to the bigger and more fast paced ones near the pier and also in the harbor. If you haven't seen enough murals in downtown, then there will be plenty more to explore on this side of the city. It's another great area for many different places to eat, try out different kinds of coffee shops, and also more breweries. South Oceanside starts anywhere below Oceanside Boulevard, but what I'm gonna first start off with are some great places to wake up with and have some breakfast just above Oceanside Boulevard. So if you're traveling from downtown Oceanside, then you will most likely be traveling south on Coast Highway. A few blocks north before South Oceanside begins are more great places to eat and to refuel with some coffee. For history lovers, you can't get more historic than the 101 Cafe, which goes all the way back to the year 1928 and has a pretty awesome mural on the side of it. When I walked in, I was amazed at all the different history photos of not just the cafe, but all of Oceanside. Across the parking lot, they have a gift shop that recently opened in 2022. As for breakfast, I definitely recommend their omelets with a side of biscuits and gravy. For lunch, they have great cheeseburgers with a side of onion rings. Down the street is a coffee shop called The Cup which is more of a grab and go kind of place that serves great breakfast sandwiches and all kinds of flavored lattes. Speaking of flavored lattes, another coffee shop around the corner where you can get a flight of flavored lattes is Camino Coffee that is very well decorated with plants and flowers that makes it an amazing atmosphere and is also connected to a flower shop. They are also popular for their Turkish eggs which is made with Mediterranean yogurt, hummus, and soft boiled eggs. If you like flights of coffee to start your morning, then you might enjoy a flight of beers to start your evening, which you can get at Bottle Craft Brewery located next door, where you can also have some Schutz Tacos, one of the most popular hotspots for fish tacos. <music> Continuing going down Coast Highway and finally making your way into South Oceanside, there will be plenty of more shopping opportunities and restaurants. But if you're walking, make sure you notice the Loma Alta Trail that will take you alongside the Loma Alta Creek, where there's small information boards talking about the wildlife you might see, and it's impossible to miss the mural. After that, you'll reach Buccaneer Park, a hidden gem and a popular place for locals to hang out, Across the street is Buccaneer Beach where the Loma Alta Creek empties. This is definitely one of the most popular secluded beaches in the area to relax and watch the sunset. But also what brings people here is the Buccaneer Cafe located at the park. A cafe with many flavored lattes and are well known for their breakfast burritos. But if you're more into salad, the avocado toast might be a good fit for you. Once when you're here, there's great places to check out in both directions. If you go back north, you'll notice a lot more small and secluded beaches along the way. Across the street from one of them is a great family-friendly vacation rental known as the Pacific Bungalow. The living room offers beach views and the couch can also pull out into a sofa bed. Connected to the living room is one of the first bedrooms. A backyard is included with a table, plenty of chairs, and even a hammock in the back corner. I would also like to mention that this is a pet friendly property and the backyard also has a tiny house where the other bedroom is with a small kitchen. 
I would also like to add that the bungalow has a great kitchen area and also a balcony just outside the living room. The bungalow happens to be the sister property of the boutique brick hotel in downtown Oceanside. And I would like to add that their luxury rooftop bar called the Coco Cabana is finally open with great nightlife, a beautiful place to watch a sunset, and is also a great place for brunch. Going back to the topics and attractions of South Oceanside and what to do near Buccaneer Park. If you were to go south, you'll reach another popular small beach known as Cassidy Street Beach. What makes this beach so identifiable is the pedestrian Cassidy Street Bridge located just across the street and offers walking trails. A few blocks away is South Coast Highway again, where there's more great bites to eat. A few blocks in one direction, there's another popular coffee shop called Vigilante Coffee, which has its own roastery, and I was just fine having a traditional non-flavored latte because the coffee was that good. Next door is another brewery called the South O Brewery, where I enjoyed another selection of beer flights and also has live music on selected days and evenings. A few blocks in the other direction are two coffee shops located right next to each other. The first one is Captain Grounds, which are very popular for their chai tea lattes and have very good egg sandwiches. Next to there is Revolutionary Roasters, well identifiable for its large mural in front of the parking spaces. There's lots of comfortable places to sit inside and you can't go wrong with their butterscotch latte. Nearby is the Mexican restaurant of Anita's where you can get some more good carne asada tacos. If you head a few blocks south, you'll discover a great area full of nature and wildlife. Something I'm going to be talking more about after showing you all some pretty cool footage first. Buena Vista Lagoon is the only freshwater lagoon in all of California. It is located on the border of Oceanside and the neighboring city of Carlsbad with many great views alongside the road in multiple different areas. There is a walkway that will take you around just a small part of the area with two viewing platforms in the opposite directions from each other. It's a great place to go bird watching and see other kinds of wildlife. The nature center at the start has exhibits on what kind of animals that you could possibly see. Within walking distance, there's Bound Coffee that is very popular for their vanilla bean lattes. A short walk north of there is the Green Room Hotel, which was once a motel from the 1950s. It is now completely renovated and only has been open since the summer of 2021. There are a total of 12 rooms. At night, you can help yourself to the public fire pit and even the jacuzzi. It is a short drive away to the city of Carlsbad and its popular village with more shopping and places to eat. This does conclude my series for Oceanside, California. I hope I was able to motivate you all into visiting in at least one of my videos, whether it was the restaurants, hotels, or attractions. I do have another series coming up shortly, so make sure you click on that subscribe button to stay updated on my latest travels and stay tuned for my next series.